British royals, you don't typically hear about them living so close together in their estates. The recent story of Kate Middleton shunning one of her best friends, Rose Handberry, and her husband might indicate living close to your friends isn't always the best move. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle felt somewhat the same, though mainly feelings of claustrophobia living in Kensington Palace. While Frogmore Cottage sounds like a strange estate name to Americans, the couple's move there may be the best thing they could have done. The move more or less makes them independent royals, but how safely independent will they really be? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have officially gone country. One of the positives of Harry and Meghan moving to Frogmore Cottage is that's a true country home in the bucolic British mold. It's 25 miles away from the small palace living space they were occupying since their wedding last year. Hopefully they have security around Frogmore, despite pics showing a private sign on the property's gate. This isn't a strange property for them either considering they used the property for official portraits after their engagement. Plus, they had a wedding reception there. Symbolic of independence, moving there will send a message they want to go their own way. Nevertheless, we have to wonder how many people may invade the property once baby Sussex is born. It could become a problem since royal estates like this typically don't have surrounding walls a mile high. Will Frogmore Cottage really be a haven for the royal baby? In the abstract, it looks like this countryside cottage is a perfect place for Meghan and Harry to raise their new royal child. Growing up in this environment also allows them to live around nature rather than dealing with the city bustle of the chaotic heart of London. How thorough the security is at Frogmore Cottage is another thing. Reports from last November said the estate is exposed on all sides and requires a very expensive upgrade to keep the couple completely safe from potential intruders. Whether this was completed is still up in the air. With Meghan expected to give birth any day, at the time of publication, you would hate to think there's still security gaps at Frogmore when they bring baby Sussex home. Once the royal baby is born, the media gauntlet is going to be thrown and capturing unauthorized photos for the highest bidder. What kind of security will they have at the cottage? It is unpleasant to think Meghan and Harry will have to construct giant walls and hire security guards around the estate to fully protect themselves. Yes, they can afford any type of security as needed, yet delays could still occur in getting approval from the Queen or other British bureaucracy. In this regard, you almost have to think Kensington Palace provided a better shield for Harry and Meghan. We previously covered how complicated it was for them just to get into their front door at Nottingham Cottage on the palace grounds. They may have moved from there to escape this protracted security when they could face even more steps to enter their front gate at Frogmore. If this does happen, they should consider it a benefit with the world gone crazy and Meghan a frequent target of criticism. All we can hope for is Frogmore Cottage has enough security reinforcements 